Do you ever get that strange feeling that your doorman is up to no good, only later to find out that he spent the whole day absolutely destroying your backyard? <sighs> I wonder where Arlo's up to. I haven't seen that dog in forever. Where, what's he doing? Arlo! <sighs> what? Well, it's not gonna happen anymore because today we're going over the common reasons why a Doran might choose to go rogue and start digging holes everywhere and destroying their backyard. And then we'll talk about uh, some simple tricks that you can use to stop the digging right now. Because after all, your yard is getting destroyed as we speak. I've seen a single Doberman do hundreds, if not thousands of dollars of damage to someone's backyard in a single day. They can tear up lawns, rip up and destroy sprinkler systems, uh, drip systems, kill plants and trees, destroy property. I mean, it's unbelievable amount of damage they can do. And this is a hard behavior to address because nine out of 10 times it happens when you're not even home. So watch this video to the very end because, and I don't say this often, but this video could save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. This video is actually one of a two video series all about Doberman digging. This video is specifically about stopping the uh, digging right now, albeit maybe temporary solutions, but they're immediate. And it, these are just a, kind of some tips and tricks to buy yourself some time while you collect your thoughts and figure out how you're gonna address this on more of a long-term basis. The next video is gonna be about how to address this behavior on more of a long-term basis and really train this behavior out of your doorman. But let's buy yourself some sanity. Let's stop the digging right now and let's jump straight into this. Up first, let's talk about why your doorman might be digging in the first place. Just like when you train out any unwanted behavior out of a dog, you want to first understand why they're doing that. That's incredibly important. So here are some common reasons why doorman start digging up their yard. And so listen to these reasons, see if any of these might apply to your dog in their situation. Number one, lack of exercise or mental stimulation. These are high energy, intelligent dogs, as you know, and because of that, they need a place to let out all that energy, a good outlet for it. And if they haven't had enough exercise or mental stimulation, they may resort to digging up your yard to satisfy that. Um, you may be surprised, even if your dog has had plenty of exercise throughout the day, but hasn't had that mental stimulation, they might still be uh, tearing up your yard. So definitely don't neglect the mental stimulation portion either. Number two, stress and anxiety. Any kind of additional stress and anxiety on your dog might lead them to turn to digging up the yard as an outlet for that. So this might be a new home or a new owner or just something new in the environment, um, or you being gone, them being alone, they're very people-oriented dogs and just being alone is stressful for them and that can cause them to dig up their yard. They don't just dig up while you're gone from the home because uh, they know they can get away with it. I'm sure that's at least a portion of it, but they also do it when you're gone just because the physical act of you not being there is pretty stressful for a Doberman. Number three, for fun. Dobermans sometimes just like to dig up, just like a kid, like to dig up something for fun. They, they dig down, they feel the dirt in their nails, new smells, they find a bug or two, maybe they find a root that's kind of cool to chew on, or your drip system that's pretty exciting to pull out. Um, so there's a lot of reasons they could do it, but some of them are just pretty simple, like just for fun. And this is really common in a young Doberman under two years of age. Number four, to hunt. Dobermans have a really strong prey drive, and especially for small furry animals. So like gophers and moles, they will chase them all day long. And a lot of times this involves digging if you have that in your, on your property. Um, they can also hear extremely well, and they can even often hear them below the surface of the ground. So you can tell if your dog is digging to hunt something like a bug or a rodent, because a lot of times they'll be digging in a line as opposed to a dog that digging for fun might just dig straight down in a single hole. So if you see lots of lines from your doorman, there's a chance they're following bugs or a small rodent. Number five, to escape. Now this isn't the most common reasons, but sometimes dobermans will dig in an attempt to escape from their yard. And now you'll be able to figure this out because the holes a lot of times will be focused right around the perimeter of the fence. So if you're getting holes around the perimeter of your fence, there's a good chance it's escape digging. They might do this to find another dog on the other side of the fence, maybe to go out and try to locate their owner if you're away from home um, for exercise, or maybe because they're uncomfortable in the yard that they're in. If they're too hot or too cold, or there's not a comfortable place to lay down, for example, they might do escape digging um, to try and go find a more comfortable place. And actually in the case of non-spayed and non-neutered Dobermans, they oftentimes do this type of digging because they have this natural instinct to roam looking for a mate. 
Number six, genetics. Some breeds are just naturally more inclined to dig on a genetic level than other breeds. Terriers are a great example. Terriers are known for digging up more than other breeds. And actually, um, there were two types of terriers that were used in the creation of the Doberman breed, which is the Black and Tan Terrier, which is now extinct, and the Manchester Terrier. So that might explain on a biological level anyway, why maybe some Dobermans are more inclined to dig. Okay, so you're slowly watching your yard get destroyed day by day, and you are not a lazy owner. You are all on board for doing some in-depth training and training this behavior out of your dog in the long term. But in the meantime, you just need to buy yourself some time, and you need this uh, behavior to stop right now. Look, I totally get it. So that's why I'm going to give you these tricks and tips for stopping this behavior, albeit maybe temporary, but immediately so that you can work on some long-term behavior changes with your dog. Number one, more exercise. Look, digging takes up a lot of energy that maybe is pent up in your dog. And if you tire them out another way, it could help prevent this digging. So take them out and go for a run, play fetch, go for a walk, uh, go out to the dog park, tire your dog out just a little bit more than normal. And it very well could buy you at least a day, maybe two days of a non-destroyed yard. Remember, we're just trying to buy yourself a little bit of time until we can address this with some of the long-term digging solutions. Number two, more stimulation throughout the day. So you could try to get your dog some more interactive toys. You know, toys maybe that are shaped funny and they drop and it'll bounce different directions or toys that make noise when they interact with it, or uh, treat toys where they gotta work at it to get a treat out of, maybe even just peanut butter inside of a Kong, for example. That's a great way to do it. Um, that would be a positive energy outlet for your dog in the backyard other than digging, which is a great way to keep him distracted and stimulated and, pre and just, just prevent that digging altogether. Actually, that first step that I gave you, the exercise with this one combined, that's definitely gonna buy you some good time until you can address this issue on more of a long-term basis. Number three, kind of odd one, but it's called the poop trick. Now, just take a little bit of your dog's uh, feces that they left out on the yard for you, maybe the lawn, um, put a small amount of that in whatever hole they're digging, and you'll be surprised that how quickly they will avoid that hole and they won't continue to damage that same spot. It doesn't mean they won't move on another spot, but it'll usually save you from that area. So uh, this is actually my favorite one, believe it or not, because it's quick, it's easy, it's free, and it's um, actually surprisingly effective on, God, most, almost all Dobermans. I'm not gonna say all, but it's, it's surprisingly effective on most dogs. Number four, this is a great one if you don't like the poop trick, the cayenne pepper powder trick. If you use cayenne pepper powder and um, if you put it in a hole that they're digging on or an area they're working on, um, it really motivates them to move on and go do something different. That's the cayenne pepper is the same pepper they use in pepper spray. Um, of course, your reaction, I'm sure, won't be as dramatic in your dog, but it, usually they'll just go smell it and then they'll move on somewhere else. You can go get this at your local grocery store and I, it might kill plants or grass, I'm not sure. So you might wanna check on that first. I would imagine it would, um, but it's a great way to stop your dog from digging up one spot. Number five, fill the hole with rocks. This can create a physical barrier, but it also just makes it not very fun for your dog to dig in a spot with a bunch of rocks in it. Um, now, some Dobermans do eat rocks sometimes, so make sure your rocks that you use are big enough that your dog's not gonna choke on it. Um, but uh, throw some rocks in there. If your dog's escape digging along the perimeter of a fence, you can also bury some large rocks about halfway up all the way around the fence line. That's another great way from stopping this from occurring in one specific spot. Number six, file their nails, keep them well groomed. Now, good grooming is a great uh, policy anyway, of course, but if you make sure that you're on top of keeping your dog's nails ground down a little bit, um, like good grooming standards, then you're gonna take away a lot of the fun of digging in, and it's gonna be more difficult, and it's gonna be mainly the pads or the paws that they have to use to manipulate things, so it's, it's definitely gonna discourage them. And sometimes just getting the mud under the nails and in the fingers is part of the fun for them, so you kinda take away some of the fun of destroying your backyard with this trick. Number seven, fence it off. Obviously, this will buy you some time. This is an obvious one, but um, there's these little portable fences you can get. You may have seen it on my channel before. There's one that I have that I use with Arlo all the time. You can just erect that fence kind of anywhere real quickly around a hole they're digging on or some place that you want to cordon off. You can even cordon off a section of your yard depending on how your yard is set up. Um, I have one that I recommend in my recommended products uh, list down in the description below my videos uh, in the puppy list. But uh, you can also just go down to Home Depot or Lowe's and get like the big stakes they have and the temporary rolls of plastic fencing and you can fence off really large areas for really cheap. 
Remember that with many of these fixes and solutions that I mentioned, you run into the potential problem of solving that issue with one little spot with your dog just to have them move on to another nearby spot and continue the digging and the destructive behavior. So if that's you, then you're definitely going to want to watch my next video that will be released in the coming weeks all about solving this in a, on a long-term basis. So in the meantime, guys, just try one or two of these temporary fixes, throw in a little more exercise, and give them one or two mentally stimulating toys in the backyard and see if that doesn't change things. I hope you found at least one or two things useful in this video that you can try, guys. If you're interested in that video about how to train this out of your dog on a long-term basis, I will link to that in the description down below this video as soon as it's ready, so that way you can check that out. Uh, and while you're down there, definitely hit the like button if you found anything useful at all. I'd really appreciate it. And, you know, consider going above and beyond and maybe even leaving a comment. Let me know some of your stories and maybe even some tricks that you've used to stop digging in your doorman. It could really help some other people out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Number four, if you're not into using the poop trick, you can use the cayenne powder pepper trick. Uh, the cayenne uh, powdered pepper, pepper powder, pepper, pow powder pepper. Cayenne powder pepper. Number four, cayenne pepper powder. <laughs> Number four, <laughs> cayenne pepper powder trick. A time to help prevent it from continuing. You can also just go down to Home Depot or Lowe's or some someplace like that and get. Well, this is sure going to make the rest of the video a little tough to watch. Somehow I'm sure this is Arlo's fault.